And so, you see, if Darwin was wrong, it's a really, really big deal. It's an earth-changing deal. And I believe he was wrong. I believe we can show that Darwin was profoundly wrong about all the key issues. And that includes both the scientific issues and the spiritual issues. And as I read about young Darwin, I realize that was me when I was young. So much of my life I was an atheist. Much of my life I was a really totally uh, on board Darwinian evolutionist. It's really ironic that this valley that he considered the, his inspiration for slow and gradual and his foundation, his conceptual foundation for evolution, slow and gradual, actually was formed catastrophically by a flood. Stephen Jay Gould said, the tree of life is not a tree but a bush, a dense bush, and we have no idea what the internal branching structure is. So, you know, in the textbooks that make it look like these trees are scientific and that they're proof, uh, in reality, similarities and differences in the present don't tell us the past. Let me just explain to you, if the world was made of solid protein and the oceans were chock full of proteins of every imaginable kind, we would be no closer to having spontaneous life on Earth than if there were no proteins. Proteins are not the basis of life. Life requires an unbelievably complex arrangement of very specific organic molecules and programmed information that makes life life. What's really happening in nature is there is differential reproduction. What do I mean by that? I mean some things reproduce more than others, which isn't very remarkable. But if you have something really defective, it's not going to reproduce well, and if you have really something super, it will produce more than normal. And that explains some things but not very much. There's a name for this. It's a, it's a scientific mistake. It's called extrapolation. And it's not just extrapolation. Scientists know extrapolation is dangerous. They ver they're very careful not to do it very much. And if they do it, they do it little. This is what's called unbounded extrapolation. Scientists know that's always, always bad science. 